Hello everyone, gonna do a driving video this time because I have to drag my ass all the way over to another part of the state tonight, but I figured I wanted to address something that I've been thinking about lately in terms of the more big L libertarian friends I have, the more... I've, talk, I've talked a lot to the left and kind of explained things to the left, but I think it's really important to address some things on the right. And that is particularly the aversion or the treating of anarchism as a dirty word and how, it, to me, it doesn't even make sense from a libertarian perspective. And I think this is really important because uh, people kind of don't understand very core fundamental concepts of how the state operates and particularly people within the state and they will spend all day talking about the free market as libertarians because love the idea of free markets but they they are perfectly aware that how the free market operates and why people advocate for free market is that centralized controlled economies through the government do not operate as well as small businesses and individuals do in terms of crisis and development and innovation. That the giant lumbering top heavy government will never react as fast as a small and single individual or small business can. That's very fundamental to kind of like libertarian ideology. But then they don't take that exact same logic and apply it to the government. And I think it's because there's this fundamental misunderstanding that through democracy or republicanism that the people at the top are any more qualified, intelligent, or reactionary as the average individual. When in fact, it's usually not the case. Usually the people that get to the higher echelons of government are less intelligent, less moral, and less reactive and aware of problems than your average person on the street even. And that's saying a lot. You know, we, we have quite a few boomers in the government that probably don't even know how to work an iPad that are passing legislation on technology. So that, you know, that it's very important to understand that Michael Malice often said that if you're a libertarian, a true libertarian, that you actually embrace the idea of small scale government and individual interaction and freedom of association, that you are only a few months or a year or so away from becoming an anarchist because you start to understand that oh if if top heavy states do not handle economies well then of course top he top heavy states do not handle governance well and then you start breaking down further and further in the logical conclusion of all of these is anarchism and i think a, a lot of people that are able to understand this the most they're actually non-ideological people. Like, I'm very much a non-ideological person. I'm very much a practical person. I view things through the lies of practical lens. And so often people will be like, oh, we need this giant government, or we even need, like, a minarchist government to handle interactions between people because it's just not logical to expect that individuals will be able to keep society and humanity running on their own to where I think that's the exact opposite, to where we have most of the awful and inefficient and wasteful actions that we have taken over human history, most of the atrocities, most of the actions of almost pure barbarism have come out of governments, out of top heavy structures. The instances of single individuals or small groups causing chaos and mayhem pale in comparison to the United States government pale in comparison to the Soviet Union, pale in comparison to Nazi Germany, pale in comparison to Imperial France. You know, the list goes on and on. And I do view it as inherently impractical to believe that a small group of people that do not have means of rapid communication and have bureaucracy and democratic structures holding, that, holding onto them will ever be as efficient as a single individual. And I, I, I thankfully, the mo especially within the Boogaloo, people that end up actually talking to us pure anarchists slowly get pushed in that direction as they realize more and more, like, oh, you know, the person at the top actually isn't 
some dramatically more qualified or intelligent individual than I am. In fact, they're working with almost, especially with the internet, they're working with almost the same tools and the same resources as I am. And they usually come to infinitely wet, worse decisions than a random person I can grab. There's all, there's all these, you know, perfect examples of this throughout the internet. My, my favorite one that I've always seen that goes around is that I'm not sure if it's just a meme or an actual story. I think it was sold as an actual story, but there was a warehouse that had a conveyor line and they wanted to change it to where when boxes got to a certain point on the conveyor, they got pushed over into a bin. So they spent all of this money and all went through all this red tape and development to go through and build this complex machine that pushed boxes off of the conveyor belt and then you know into a bin. And they kept having issues with it and they kept having issues with it and they couldn't figure out how to get it work and there's technological problems and there was OSHA concerns. And then one day they noticed that the woman who was usually tasked with removing the boxes from the conveyor belt and putting it in the bin was sitting down. They asked her, what are you doing? And she pointed over and the woman had just set up a fan in front of the conveyor belt. And when the convey when the boxes went by, the fan blew the boxes into the bin. This is anarchy. <laughs> this is you know the core fundamental of that. So embrace the white pill. It, you, you know, that's the you know, key thing there is Anarchy, like statism is the belief that the average person is so awful that they have to be corralled and told how to live and that they will be never intelligent enough to run complex societies to where anarchism is the understanding that people are actually inherently good, actually inherently smart, and actually inherently cooperative and can do this on our own without the government.